Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today is my Premier League predictions for week 30, week 29. Um, obviously goes on what team you support and obviously the catch up games that have to be played before uh, you know, before the last game of the season I do believe. Um, guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go! So the first game I'm going to kick off with and you can tell it behind me obviously is Crystal Palace versus Brighton. Um, for you that don't know, these two are rivals. They've been rivals since the late 70s, early 70s. Um, you know, big game for both clubs, but I'm going to stick up for a Brighton win on this one. Because I'm only doing a Brighton win because Palace do have a tendency to pick up and then they, you know, go lose a couple. So I'm going to stick. I'm going to put Brighton to win this one, and I'm going to go for a 3-0 scoreline. The next one is Cardiff versus West Ham. Um, Cardiff in that drop zone as we're speaking. Um, you know, uh, it weren't nice what's happened to them this season, but football has to go on, same as life. Um, West Ham on the other hand, Pellegrini doing a great job at West Ham. Jack Wiltshire looks like he be out for the rest of the season. So, you know, I have got their injury problems as well. But still, I'm going to stick up for a West Ham win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 scoreline. The next one is Huddersfield versus Bournemouth. Um... You know, Huddersfield looted Brighton the the uh, previous fixture. One uh, lost one nil. Um, you know, look like definitely going down now. Um, I think I think I've done my um, bottom six, bottom six, bottom five teams. I had Huddersfield to beat Brighton to even have a chance of staying up. Um, but that you know they look gone now. Uh, possibly 20th place finish as well, so a really bad season for Huddersfield. Um, as I've said, Gallup gets a very okay Bournemouth side, but considering where Huddersfield is sitting, I'm going to stick up for a Bournemouth win, and I'm going to stick up for a 2-1 scoreline. The next one is Liverpool versus Burnley. Liverpool are off the top of the table, um, after drawing with Everton, um, you know, it's it's still a two horse race, but City are holding the lead now. Um, for that, uh, you know, if City win, City win all their remaining games, they would have got it by a point. Uh, Liverpool need to step up from somewhere, and Liverpool needs to counter on that. Um, Burnley, you know, they're looking. Pretty much getting safe. I'll say another two wins possibly away, and now I think I've done it. But I'm going to stick up for the red side of my side for this one, and I'm going to stick up for a 3 0 win. The next one is Leicester versus Fulham. Uh, Brendan Rodgers losing his first game in charge. Um, you know, uh, did he deserve it? I don't think so. But Watford did play okay in that game. Um, you know, it's one of the things I think where it's your first game. You know, the odds are really stacked against you. Um, going up against an okay Fulham side, but look like possibly being going down as well. Um, so for that one, I'm going to stick up for the blue side of Leicester. And I'm going to go with a 2-1 scoreline for that one. The next one is Newcastle versus Everton. Now, the up down the Newcastle situation, apparently Mike Ashley has took the Newcastle Football Club um, off the buy list. Um, it is up for sales. I think it's from 2014. No one's bought it, so he's taken it off. That's apparently to rumours. But apparently it's still on there. So, you know, it looks a bit... Newcastle look a bit, you know, a bit uh, dodgy. 
um, as far as that bit's concerned. Going up against an OK Everton side, as I've mentioned in this video, um, you know, uh, drawing with Liverpool, possibly could have had a three points as well. Um, so for this one, I'm going to call it a draw, and I'm going to call it a one-all scoreline for that one. The next one is Southampton versus Spurs. Spurs draw, uh, drawing with Arsenal the previous week had just gone. VAR could have been in count for Arsenal. Then it also could be in count for that Aubameyang penalty. Uh, I just think he fell over, basically. I don't think it was a penalty. But yeah, I know you Arsenal fans got to give me a stick for that. Which, but it's just my opinion. Um, yet yeah, again, I'm going to go for a Spurs win. And I'm not expecting a high scoring game. I'm expecting a 1 0 Tottenham win. The next one is Manchester City versus Watford. Um, you know, my dark horse is Watford. As a, um, you know, did, did do a job over Leicester, uh, as I've said in this video. But again, I think it's a very okay, a very good Manchester City team, I should say. Um, you know, and they're happy to win this game to stay top. So for that one, I'm going to stick up for a Manchester City win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. The next one is Chelsea versus Wolverhampton. Now, everyone knows the drama that happened at the League Cup. Keeper got dropped for one league game. But he did play this previous weekend. Just gone for Chelsea. Um, does that mean the finger bugs all... Done. I don't think so. I think there's more to the eye than what's going on there than what we're actually seeing. Going up against an oh, very okay Wolverhampton side, who I believe are safe. Um, but I'm going to call a shock in this one. I'm going to call it a Wolverhampton win. And I'm going to call it a 2 1 scoreline for that one as well. My last one for this weekend, and it is my big match preview. It is Arsenal versus Manchester United. Um, you know, in like Emery's doing okay, but Onagar Solskjaer's doing an amazing job at Manchester United ever since he stepped in. Um, you know, if you think who may not have had prior, uh, prior to um, Onagar Solskjaer, they have found girl, um, Jose Mourinho and David Moyes, three managers, two top managers, and um, couldn't do the job. Um, but Anagar Solskjaer has come in and seems to put the team back together again. So, um, I'm going to call this one a Manchester United win. And I'm going to call it a 3-1 Manchester a Man United win. Um, guys, if you're on the road this weekend, please have a safe journey. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Enjoy your week as well. Um, but guys, I'm going to end this video here. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.